today we have a duel of mystery boxes from two different companies, same price point. We have, in what is called the red corner, we have a $100 Nerdy Newt Funko Pop mystery box. In the blue corner, as we'll call it, even though it's not blue, but blue corner, we have a $100 Toy USA mystery box. So, little catch with this, kind of, same price point, same price point. The Toy USA only guarantees 100 bucks though. Nerdy Newt, they usually have either guaranteed value or close to it. Like, you can still lose a little bit of money, but usually, if you lose money, it's no more than like 25 bucks on 100 so, same price point. Who is going to give you more return and value? Ready to do this? Let's crack these. Let's find out. Who is the winner? So let's actually let's do uh let's do Toy USA first. I think the last competition I had last year between Toy USA and somebody, they were actually the under they, they were the winner, but then they got beat. Actually the reigning champion right now is Chrono Toys. They went head to head with Toy USA last year, so we'll let Toy USA go first. Let's see if 2021 if they can come out and just come out swinging. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, Toy USA. These are, come on, knife. These are older mystery boxes purchased early this year. Um, the Toy USA or the this is like the Venture boxes. I think from like was it January or something like that. And these were the 2K21 boxes, also from January. So actually, they're both from the same month, January, the first couple weeks in January. And I honestly, I bought, I think, six of these. I think I bought six of these. So actually, this might become a six-part series. I just realized what I, what I did by accident. I bought six of each. This might become a six-part head-to-head series right here. So stay tuned for that. This is part one. Awesome. I just actually created a little series. I didn't even realize it. Totally on accident. We will do Toy USA first. And next time, the winner will go first. The def the loser has to beat the winner. Yeah, here we go. Toy USA, feel around. One thing I feel is one in a soft pop protector. That's it. Here we go. First one, no pop protector. We'll go through all four pops, then look at value. Right down the box, don't forget, and then we'll do Nerdy Newt. First one, Charmander. This one I actually just sold in a whatnot auction. I only got like six bucks out of it. I think PPG was like seven or eight bucks on it, so that's not very expensive. Here we go, next one. Super Cyan Kale. I actually just sold this. This thing has a PPG of like five bucks, because I just sold this for literally like PPG was like five bucks. Yeah, so I think those first two are kind of, which could be a good thing for the puppets in a soft stack, though. Here we go. Third one, Hello Kitty. And it is Amazon exclusive. It is a flocked Hello Kitty. First time seeing this one. This one came out in 19. Okay, here we go. Here's the one that's in a soft pop protector. Let's see. This, this, this one right here is going to be like, Saving the whole box of toys because these three are not that great. Here we go. The back says Danny Phantom. And we, oh, okay, that's not bad. We actually have NYCC 2020 con sticker Danny Phantom. I don't think that's, I don't think that, that's that bad. I'm not sure if it paid, if these three paid for the box, but I don't think that's, that's really that bad. Okay, okay. So that's what Toy USA gave me for 100 bucks. Let's see value. We will go to the WhatNot app to look at PPG. We're going to break tradition and do the highest one first, just because. Danny Phantom with the actual con sticker is worth 55. Shared sticker is 49, so they're pretty much about the same value because really there was no con last year. So con sticker honestly shouldn't matter because there was no convention. So 55 bucks for this one. Can I already tell you I lost money on the Toy USA box? Next one. Hello Kitty, we're looking at 18 bucks. Super Cyan K, we're looking at, yep, five bucks, because I just sold this thing. I remember it was five bucks. Last one with the Charmander, 
eight bucks. Actually, it went up like a dollar. So eight bucks on that one. So Toy SA, we walked away with $86 PPG value. Lost a little bit of money on that box. Let me go ahead and me jot that down. Because I'll forget. 86 bucks. So if the Nerdy Newt gives me, <laughs> even if I lose 10% on that box, I actually, they will come out swinging and beat Toy USA. But we'll find out. We'll find out. We will find out. So Toy USA, I lost 14 bucks. Nerdy Newt, what are you going to do? You want to come out swinging? You want to take the title? I don't know. Let's find out. So the pops that were not in pop protectors, I will make sure to put those in pop protectors. What I use for my channel is seven bucks a pop. Pop Shield Pop Protectors, the official pop protector of the Franchise Gift YouTube channel. Direct link down below is seven bucks a pop. Okay, I don't want to peek too much. Okay, so there's the on top. Let me feel around how many pops are in here. One, two, three. How many is in here? One, two, three. Four, there's five in here. Five hundred bucks. No hard stacks. There, from what I can tell, there's like three, four. I think there's four in soft protectors and one in no protector. Okay, so good luck to myself. Here we go. First one, no protector. The back says Doctor Who. I've never seen Doctor Who in my life. The sound that thing looks like a freaking alien. This came out, actually it came out in 2015. It's an older pop, so that's more likely that things vaulted. Doctor Who, The Silence. Pretty wicked looking, all right? Go back in. Back of this says, good luck trolls. We have GameStop exclusive yellow troll. I really doubt this is worth very much. Actually, this is seven bucks pop, pop shield, pop protector. Yeah, this is probably, it can't be like, what, more like 15 bucks of it. Yeah, like the nerdy new hundred dollar box. I don't remember if it was guaranteed value or not. Most of the time, it's either guaranteed or like you won't lose much more than like twenty five percent usually. Here we go. Next one, the back. Oh, we got Jimmy Hendrix. Is this the F Y E exclusive? Yep, it is. Jimmy Hendrix F F Y E exclusive with that burning guitar. Very very cool. Nice. I know this actually has gone up in value too. Actually, it had a spike in value last year. This one I remember because I follow uh, Serlent Pops on was it Instagram, and uh, that account posts whenever like pops are surging in price. And uh, it's just kind of fun to see which one surge because I don't even know half the ones that are even surging. And this one was surging in price last year and took a took a nice jump in value. So pretty cool. That's probably gonna be the best hit from the box. I bet. Jimi Hendrix. Next we have Sally. This is an older Disney, I think. Sally from, what, 2018, I think it looks like. This actually has some value to it. I've, I've sold some Sally's in the past. I don't remember if that's the one I sold that had a little bit of value to it. It might be, it might not. Here you go, last one in the Nerdy Nuke box. Toy Story. Uh, is the Diamond Collection Alien? Okay. Never had this one before. This one came out, looks like, in 20. So last year it came out. Okay, let's see some value. So looks like this thing is only worth 9 bucks for the Alien Glitter. I'm worth more than that. So Alien, first one, 9 whole dollars. So Nerdy Newt, not coming out swinging so far. The Silence. This is actually a Hot Topic exclusive. It's missing the Hot Topic sticker. It came out in 2016. 11 bucks on PPG on the whatnot app So any of these pops that like if you don't want to keep them You can immediately turn around and list them for sale on the whatnot app and immediately sell your pops if you want to And somebody could actually buy your pops that you don't want it says produced from 2011 which means it restocks It's only 12 bucks Okay Did I forget to add something in? I think I did No, there it is Hit the equal sign it helps to add we got the trolls gamestop exclusive and it is at 12 bucks last one jimmy hendrix yeah he's gone up in value 
about a year ago he was like 40 50 bucks because i've had him a few times now 90 dollars on ppg so that's actually a pretty nice hit right there so nerdy new came in with 144 dollars of ppg value so toy sa came in with 86 I lost 14 Nerdy Newt, I actually made $44 in value. But you gotta keep in mind, this also had five pops, Toy Sale only had four pops. So, but all in all, price point wise, for the price point, 100 bucks, Nerdy Newt, one round one. So it looks like this is gonna become a, a six part series. There's gonna be a round two, coming soon.